Special considerations when filing a life insurance claim. Here are some common questions that I get. How do I know if I'm a beneficiary? Beneficiaries will need to file a death claim to receive the payout, which is why you should talk to your loved ones to find out if you're named as a beneficiary. If you know in advance, it can help limit confusion when a claim needs to be made. To be best equipped for the death benefit claims process, ask for the policyholder's full name, the insurer's name, the policy number, the insurer's contact information for death benefit claims, and if possible, a copy of the policy. What happens if all my beneficiaries die before me? If all your beneficiaries die before you and there isn't a named beneficiary who can claim the life insurance proceeds, the death benefit may go into a trust that's used to pay off any debts owed. You should always list a contingent beneficiary or multiple beneficiaries and update your policy whenever there's a big life event. Will my claim get rejected? Insurance companies usually pay out claims, but in rare cases, a claim will be denied. When that happens, the insurer will typically reimburse the premiums paid to the beneficiary or the deceased estate, but the death benefit will not be paid. Contestability. Most life insurance policies have a contestability period. This is usually the first two years from when the policy goes into effect, and it protects the insurance company from misrepresentation. It allows the insurer to verify the information provided to them during the application process is true and it wasn't misrepresented in favor of the policy holder. Any misrepresentation on the application breaks the contract. After the contestability period ends, the insurer can no longer contest. Most claims will be paid within one or two months, but it may take longer if any investigation is needed. For instance, if the insured is believed to have misrepresented information on their application. The suicide clause. Insurance policies have a suicide clause that says that a death benefit will not be paid out if the insured commits suicide within the first two years of purchasing the policy. After two years, this clause no longer applies. Homicide. If the policyholder was killed, the insurance company will wait until any beneficiaries are cleared of foul play before paying the death benefit. After you contact the insurance company and submit the necessary documents, you'll wait for the claim to be processed. Once it's processed, you can choose how you want to receive the money. A lump sum payment or annuity payments are the most common. Filing a life insurance claim isn't complicated, but it's important to know these special considerations. I'm Kelly Augsburger with Steadfast Insurance, and if you have any questions or want to learn more, connect with me online or give me a call and I'm happy to help.